I'm sorry, May. I know I've made some bad choices, but today, I'm gonna set things right. Why are you here? I'm here to tell the truth. Telling the truth during the middle of an eclipse. This should be interesting. First of all, embossing say it was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? In fact, he's probably leading this invasion. He could be on his way here right now. Get out! Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. Think again. I am going to speak my mind, and you are going to listen. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. You, my father, who banished me just for talking out of turn. My father, who challenged me, a 13-year-old boy, to an Agni Kai. How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? It was to teach you respect. It was cruel, and it was wrong. Then you've learned nothing. No, I've learned everything, and I've had to learn it on my own. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatness with the rest of the world. What an amazing lie that was. The people of the world are terrified by the Fire Nation. They don't see our greatness. They hate us, and we deserve it. We've created an era of fear in the world. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness. <laughs> Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. After I leave here today, I'm gonna free Uncle Iroh from his prison, and I'm gonna beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Maybe he can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. But I've come to an even more important decision. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help him defeat you. Really? Since you're a full-blown traitor now and you want me gone, why wait? I'm powerless. You've got your swords. Why don't you just do it now? Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Goodbye. Coward! You think you're brave enough to face me, but you'll only do it during the Eclipse. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. Don't you want to know what happened to your mother? What happened that night? My father, Fire Lord Azulon, had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And I was going to do it. Your mother found out, and swore she would protect you at any cost. She knew I wanted the throne, and she proposed a plan. A plan in which I would become Fire Lord, and your life would be spared. Your mother did vicious treasonous things that night. She knew the consequences and accepted them. For her treason, she was banished. So she's alive? Perhaps. Now I realize that banishment is far too merciful a penalty for treason. Your penalty will be far steeper.
Where's my uncle? He's gone. He busted himself out. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. Should we follow them, Princess? No, they're too fast. But it doesn't matter. They'll be back. I know just the place for us to go where we'll be safe for a while. The Western Air Temple. 